All right, so that's the backdrop. And so let me uh, jump over to the product here. Let me move the screen out of the way. And we got a game set up back there. So we'll get our capture screen here. So this is a view into the SoloStats Live app. This is the home screen. And let me get that in my hand because I have to operate it separately here. Okay, so um, you can see the help button, you know, backup. Backup is actually, for the most part, automatic, so you don't have to worry about this. This is just the occasional manual thing, you log in, All right? So there's two parts, the capture part, which is free, and then the web services part, which is reporting, and then the live broadcasting piece, all right? So we're going to focus on this half and the capture piece to get you started. So we'll press the capture button, and now you're on the Teams page. And so to start a new team, we'll hit the new button up here. So I'm going to hit that. And of course, you just enter, you know, the player number, name, so forth. Okay, so let me, let me just switch over to a filled in one because I don't really want to spend time uh, with you doing that. So this is my test team here, and I've labeled them by position because it's a little more useful to you to understand who's doing what rather than having Megan and Becky and so forth here. Okay. All right, so that's how you fill it out. Put in your, you know, your team name and uh, the league organization and then the level of play and the gender, right? Okay. So now we'll hit the uh, matches button down here, and it'll take us to the game page, right? So then we'll hit new up here to start a new game. So let me hit new, okay? And now this is a new screen. Uh, it's been improved, so we have more components up here that you can uh, identify your your, um, your particular uh, match with. So in this case, we're gonna play against a team called Cruise 17-1, okay? I'll go to the next field. Well, the venue is gonna be in Reno. And the next one will be, we'll call this PLC, the championships. And the next one will be, you just make up a quarter, 34. All right, sounds good. Okay, now we're done with that part. And then the, it's a league match, and uh, this part is an away thing. Yeah. And you could change the date, and you could preload this if you want. Uh, for now, we'll just use what we have, and I'm going to just save this. Okay, and there's a little tip here. One of the tips is, is that uh, because this is phone-based, you might want to have the Do Not Disturb turned on, which I have up here, right, so that messages don't come in the middle of your, your stat taking. And the other thing is that you ought to really shut down all the uh, other apps that are not running because uh, that can affect performance. Um, and so it's a good sort of uh, step to take. All right, now we're gonna press the first game button, okay? And so I know that uh, we're gonna be receiving, so they are gonna be serving, and then we're gonna be starting in rotation one. And then we have this whole new lineup thing up here in which you can save an entire lineup and reload it so that you don't have to put this in every time. And so in the lineup thing, let's call this thing, uh, let's see, we'll call it the start team, okay? And then we'll close that window. All right, now, let's our set is number 11, and number 11 is gonna be setting in rotations four, five, and six out of a six, two. We'll set up our, oh, and one other thing, the setters here are being designated, so it's the primary setters that you expect to set the ball. And so if somebody else sets the ball and a person gets a kill, then you can reassign it using the assist button. But otherwise, it's going to automatically be credited to that setter. All right, so Lovero uh, is number 22, and we can use a second Lovero if we want, and it's number 19. Now, here's the uh, serving part of this thing. So Rotation one, remember these are the rotations and not necessarily who's gonna serve first, okay? And you'll see how, how this benefits you uh, as I finish up the setup here. All right, so the setter's in the first one, then followed by the H1, who's number four, followed by the libero, who's number 22, followed by the other setter, who's number 11, and followed by the second uh, outside, number 55, and then the second middle, number three, okay? So that's the uh, servers in each rotation. And now we'll set up our starters and the subs. Now, this is the part that you have to be really conscious of where you're putting your buttons. I prefer to have the most active players. Since, I, since my, my outside hitters um, are, are six position players, number four is gonna go on the left side because that's the most active thumb that I use. And number 55 is on the other side. So the two most active are at the bottom, followed by the setter. So the setter is gonna be uh, number nine, sorry. And then the opposite, the starting opposite, the 01, is number 28. And then we've got the M2 and the M1, okay? 
And now I'm going to put the libero up next to them, number 22, because that's going to, you'll see in a second why this is important. And then I'm going to put the, uh, the other setter in the slot. Sorry, let me move this player out of the way. Move the opposite here and then the, uh, the setter there. And those guys will be swapping with the um, active players, all right? We'll do a save and we'll save, okay? All right, so start team is the name. We have a couple other teams set up here, but I'm not gonna be using them. Oops, I'm sorry, I screwed up. Start team, okay. All right, so now I'm ready to go. I press the capture button and this is a primary screen here. And so you can see that my players are lined up and you see that the, the libero is off the court, the, the middle blockers. This is a great place to go when you're checking in, okay, to make sure that everybody's in the right place. And then once everybody's there, the, the, uh, the rest check you in, right, then you can swap people. So this is the way you do a sub. You tap on the player you want to bring in. So I tap on number 22, and then I tap on who I want to bring out, so the number, number three, so they swap, okay? All right, and of course, if you need to, to uh, fix that, you just press the undo button, it pops right out, right? But I'm going to go back again. And the readout up here in the top shows that uh, that's, that's the last action that went in. The sub count did not change because it's a libero, right? It doesn't count against you. Okay? So we're starting rotation one. The red dot indicates that the opponent is serving, right? And these badges tell you who's serving. So the R badges tells you who's the active server. Nobody is right now because they have the serve. And then the S1, the S2, the libero one, the libero two. Now this libero button down here, you'll see in a minute, it's really important because the libero is going to swap between the two middles and instead of having to remember where the libero is right now, this shortcut button allows you to hit this and, and